Hey, this is Sharif for ADSR video. And in this video, I'm going to use machine software to do some dynamic pattern building. That's what I call it. Um, basically, building a nice little arrangement with different patterns, starting off with one pattern, but giving it some life, doing something that's not your typical way of building patterns, especially a machine, because pa machine is pattern based, loop based. And so we're going to utilize. Uh, a pattern of drums, got a little drum pattern here, and we're gonna build something dynamic um, using pattern length, changing different pattern lengths, adding some effects, using some automation um, to have it do some dynamic things. So giving your arrangement some life, right? Um, so here is It's my little drum groove, that's all. And what I'm gonna do is right mouse click or control click, hit duplicate. Once I do that, machine will create a new scene with a new pattern, right? And so you wanna make sure you do this because whatever I do in this pattern, I don't want it to affect this pattern here in this scene. I wanna have it do different things. So I'll have that there. What I'll probably do is Gonna take this and change the length, right? So now I have one bar. So this is was this is a two bar pattern, two bars. This is gonna be one bar right there, right? So I'm gonna duplicate this one. And now I want to change this and make this smaller. How do you do that? Well, you go here in the grid area right here. And I'm going to change this from quick, right? Because by bar, I'm going to go down to maybe a quarter note. And now this allows me to change the length of this to even something smaller. So now I have right, so I'm going to duplicate this. Maybe twice, right? And let's listen to the whole thing. So I'm going to click, drag my it's my mouse to select, have this dark gray um, shadow select all of my patterns so I can play them all to see how they, how they sound. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna duplicate this one again. If you notice, scene two, scene three, scene four, scene five, scene six, right? Let's zoom this out so you see what I mean, see? Okay, so now I have this one here. I'm gonna now make this even smaller, the length, right? So listen, let's listen to this. Cool, so now duplicate this. Seven, eight, nine, right? And let's listen to, I can, now I can double click right here and it will select my all of my patterns too as well as opposed to dragging. So. Okay, cool. So now, I have that there. I'm going to make this even smaller. So I can't go any further, right? Aha! We go here and we make it an eighth. Here what we got. Cool. So now we can go in here, Let's zoom, so we can see more of this if we need to. Duplicate. Duplicate. Duplicate, and we'll do one more, right? And now I wanna take this one, and I'm gonna bring this over here. So, you hold down the Option key, click, and you drag, right? And as you drag, you see the plus right there, and drop, oops, drop and paste that right there. Oh, 
right? So I will duplicate that one more time. You know, and now we have something like this. So double click, let's select it all, let's hear it. Right, something like that that you have. And okay, cool. So now I could go in here and start doing some other things. And so even within this, where that happens again right there, right? I may have this, right? Maybe duplicate this again. Right, and then maybe insert a blank one right there, right? So now we got a blank something happened there, blank scene. In this scene, we could put another pattern, right? So I'm down here, right? We could just insert another pattern in here and change the length of this from two. Well, we'll keep it two, maybe. Maybe just have it go one, one bar right there. Cool, that may be a blank bar that I have something happen. All right, so now, got that happening here. So now we, we can start changing things, maybe taking some things out here. This goes here. Maybe take this delete those right and you notice it didn't do anything to the previous pattern so having different patterns is very important um, we go here and in, and in this I'm gonna go to the group and I'm gonna add maybe uh, say meta verb or even ice verb on the group and then I will add some uh, grain stretch and then maybe some grain delay Right, so add some effects. So these effects now, right? Turn the mix knob down off of this. Grain stretch. Uh, maybe I'm just off, so that's fine. Actually, I'm gonna fix this to be maybe um, one, because I'm gonna do some stuff with this. And then grain delay, of course, turn the mix knob down so it doesn't affect anything. So right now we don't hear anything. No effects is on it, right? This is on the entire group. Now you can utilize this on the group level or the sound level where we're dealing with one sound. I want to affect the whole entire group. So now I got these different patterns. This is what I want to do. In this one, right, um, so listen. I may take this one and add ice. And how I'm going to do that is go down here to the automation hit my modulator icon, plus add the modulator, right mouse click or control click, go to ice, go to mix, and here I want this to come up, right? So I can click in here, Right, and let's play it from here. Right, and have this actually stretch out. Let's have this stretch, this pattern right here. Stretch even more, and we'll take these out on that one. Cool. So we have that piece of automation happening there. And then here, we'll have, oh, actually we have here in, two, in this too as well. We'll have um, some grain delay.
right? Uh, it is actually, let's make this a smaller snap. So let's go to an eighth. Actually, sorry, 30 second. Do the same here. Bring this back down to zero. So now, let's listen. Cool, right? And we make this even. So here, we go here and let's add some grain stretch. And in this one, we'll have the on and then we'll do the actual uh, stretch and pitch. So on, we'll have this turn on. We'll do here. Stretch this. Or have it, <clears throat> yeah, we'll stretch this here. And pitch and we put the paint tool for the pitch and actually paint this down so let's see how this sounds we take this one out Delete this scene. And, you know, just a quick thing on building some dynamic uh, patterns, things that are happening, utilizing automation effects, changing the note length, things of that nature, bringing, dropping things out. Um, having different things happen inside of the different patterns and things of that nature inside of machine, just utilizing the software. All right, thanks. See you next video. Peace.